My name is Bruno Sainz, and I'm a Ramon y Cajan investigator here at Autonoma University in Madrid, Spain. For the past four to five years, we've been working on cancer stem cells in the context of pancreatic cancer. For the Atum grant program, we wanted to ask a relevant question in cancer stem cell biology. And we focused our, our project on isolating and identifying circulating tumor cells. Our goal is, is to identify and to quantify and calculate the number of CTCs present in patient blood samples. Now, based on the technology and the ability of the Atuna NXT to identify very small, rare populations, we believe that we will finally be able to get good, reliable data on the number of CTCs present in patient blood samples. We've tried many cytometry platforms, and what we have found throughout the years is it's very difficult to identify this subpopulation of cells. So the Atun NXT um, cytometer has acoustic technology which allows you to detect very small, rare subpopulations in a sample. And sometimes we have milliliters of blood. So the speed at which we can run that sample and get reliable data on the number of cells is what we've been looking for for a very long time. One of the problems that everyone's familiar with that works with cytometry is clocking. Clocking is not an issue with this instrument. It's designed so that we would have reduced clogging, which is fantastic when you have so many samples that you have to run and you can't wait between samples to clear the clocks. The technology that's also apart from the machine, but the reagents that are available to use with this machine are incredible and we can now skip a lot of the steps that previously were giving us problems. One of my favorite reagents is the no wash, no lice reagent. This allows you to take blood samples, you don't have to lice them, you don't have to wash them, and you can run them immediately through the cytometer. Personally, I'm honored that Thermo Fisher Scientific took interest in our project. For us, the Atun NXT cytometer is going to be the basis of our, of our assay. It will allow us to finally be able to identify, quantify, and visualize these cells that are in circulation.